Uh, hello, my name is Inga Wilkins, uh, Manager of Work and Student Health Solutions at Boopa, and we have Mark Dean, uh, founder of OnMass, with us here this afternoon, um, one of our partner providers um, for mental health solutions. So this afternoon we want to talk about mental health, the prevalence within the workplace, and what kind of strategies and most importantly solutions that we can employ. So Mark, um, you know, mental health is a key focus for many organisations this time of year. Um, what are, I suppose, some of the key issues? What are the concerns and how do we build that business case to start to get traction in this area? Well, I think that the first thing to recognise is that mental health is a very broad set of terminology. Mm. And we talk about often mental health as though it's necessarily a problem or that it's all about risks. But we do know that in addition to um, a legal obligation to treat mental health and wellbeing in the workplace as a, a set of risks around which there are responsibilities, mental health or good mental health is also a big enabling factor that drives performance. So the old adage is a happy employee is a productive employee. Um, the reality is we know based upon research from uh, the field of positive psychology, optimum human functioning um, has some factors at play. And when people have the capacity to reach their full potential at work, they're more likely to be engaged, more productive and create better customer experiences. So um, in terms of the business case, much beyond uh, the pure health and safety obligations, the return on investment is uh, generally accepted as being somewhere around $2.30 for every dollar spent on mental health programs at work. In terms of the approach, you want to take a holistic approach and look at um, what are some of the key high risk areas and how do you go about actively intervening or teaching your people to actively intervene where there is a, a high risk mental health related issue at work. Um, but you also want to help skill people up in building up the protective factors. So we talk about prevention and health promotion as a really critical pathway to building a mentally healthy workforce. Mm -hmm. 